Hi, in this video we're going to show you the upcoming change to the Windows 11 Start menu for the All Apps section. Alright, so this is supposed to be coming out uh, pretty soon here in the future, but we're going to show you this on an Insider Edition of Windows 11 because you're not going to be able to use it yet unless you're watching this in the future when it's available. And then we're going to show you how to enable it if you're using an Insider Edition of Windows if you want to check it out. So right now if we click on the Start menu, you have your All Programs and you're in a list like this. But with this upcoming update, you're going to have this selection up here. Then you can change it to Name Grid, which puts everything in alphabetical order just in a grid view there. And then finally we have Category. So not sure how useful this is because it tends to group all of your other apps into an other folder here which might get kind of messy if you have a lot of other apps. Then you just have, you know, typical utilities here, and you can't really see what they are unless you click on the name to open them up. And you can click on the actual icon within the group to open it, of course. And you could also right-click at your start settings, right-click on a specific icon, and you could unpin it from the start or open it from here as well. And then, by the way, if you didn't know, if you're in the normal view here, you could actually click on the little pound here or one of the letters, and that'll bring you to your letters here, and then you could go right to the section. So let's say I want to go all the way down to X without having to, you know, scroll from the top all the way down to get to it. Just click here and pick the letter you want. All right, so to enable this new feature here in Windows 11, uh, we're going to be using the Vive tool. So the Vive tool is a way to enable unreleased or hidden features in Windows. So once you download it, so I have it here on the F drive. So you have to run it via the command line, even though there is a GUI version of it. So I'll put a link for that in the description as well. So once you have it downloaded and extracted, so there's nothing to install for the command line version at least, you want to open an administrative command prompt to that location where you have the executable. So CMD, run as administrator. So I need to go to my F drive and to the Vive folder. Now you can see I have the Vive tool here. So this is the command you will use to enable it. So you can simply copy and paste this from the description right there. And then it's done. You'll have to reboot your computer. And then after you come back, you should have this new All option here. Maybe you could change your views here if you want. So like I said, depending on when you're watching this and what version of Windows you're running, um, it's going to decide how well this works or if it works at all. And then if you change your mind, or if it doesn't work for you, you could come here, do the same thing with Disable, reboot your computer, and then you'll have your normal start menu back. All right, so I will put this information in the description. I'll put a link to the Vive tool, and then I'll put a link to the video that we did on the Vive tool GUI version, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.